this is Neil from Reverb.com. We're here in NAMM 2017. I'm with James from the Noble and Cooley booth. He's going to tell us about a couple different kits they have this year. James, what are we looking at today? Man, we're going to be looking at uh, three new additions that we're, we're doing. We did one last year, but we've done some models, different snare drums, and a lot of different finishes as well. Awesome. Aesthetically, very, very different than last year. Very cool. uh, thanks, guys, for Reverb, for coming by. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Excellent. This is our brand new offering, solid shell, not, not two-piece shells. Solid shell construction, oak all the way through, and available in all sizes, in oak and maple. Oh, fantastic. Our plan is to be able to offer in all our solid woods, the same thing in our solid wood kits. As you can see, we're doing brass hardware on this and a red candy burst. It's been a really hit right now, it's been great. This was a, a legendary line from uh, from Noble in the 94-95 era called the Horizon. Maple mahogany blended shells, horizontally, very warm, kind of finicky, but on you also get a lot of a lot of slap from them. Very very warm. A new new offering: black nipple hardware and a gold indigo sparkle. This has been our line that's been legendary: the CD maple custom design maples. Uh, we offered wood hoops this year the two-tone to match a kit. We're doing that with any kit. Wow. So anyone wants to match their match their kit, we can do it. We did a little something different. Last year in the Walnut, it's got the Burnt logo on it. We went ahead and implemented that on this kit. Really, really classy touch. Absolutely. Turned out great. We brought out a Walnut last year, and now we're offering it as 13 8 lug and 8 by 14, which I'll show you as well. New colors this year, red ash, Hematite, Black Fade, Tangerine, Antique White. What we did is Noble was known for so much in the classic aesthetic finishes. And that's great, that's our, that's, our, that's our legacy. But we wanted to show what we can do. It's, it's the sky's the limit, man. We can do anything. So the last thing I want to ask you about, a lot of people are curious about the new Piccolo that's going out right now. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what's the story behind this? What are we looking at here today with that? On the piccolo? Yeah. Man, piccolo has always been known as a high pitch, a high pitch drum. One of our legendary artists, Phil Collins, has always played his 4x14 maple. Right. The deal with the solid show is you get a lower tuning range in it. So you can really belly the size of this drum. But you can also crank it up and also get all the highs that are known for the piccolo. Uh, 13s are, are really being popular right now, so we offered a couple of 13s this year as well. James, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Signing off, Neil at Reaver.com and AM2017.